Welcome to SAE Radio, and what is your purpose and why are you here with Dewan Guy? Today on that show, we have Jihad. He's headed to the fourth term. Jihad, everybody knows Jihad. He walks around campus, you know, kind of tall guy with a baseball cap on his head. Ever so fresh, so clean, and so cool, always having something new to say about the latest and the greatest on the hot charts, on the music list, whether it's pop, whether it's rap. I don't care what it is. He got his word on it. Jihad, welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing today? I am great. That intro was phenomenal. Like, real quick. Man, how you feel, Dewan? Man, I'm feeling good, man. Today, man, we just want to go jump on in and talk about, you know, what is your purpose uh, and why are you here at SAE? I mean, we'll, we'll start there. You know, let us know about your, your first term when you first started and, and and how was that? Tell us, you know, about your first day. All right, the first day, that was, that was a doozy for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I came in here, I had no knowledge of how anything works, didn't know how to work the 8-bus, the O2R, uh, I barely saw most of the microphones that they had here. Um, but my instructor, Vinny Wisco, uh, he was able to teach me so much, but still keep me engaged throughout. You know what I'm saying? Because he had that, that personality. He had the uh, just a swag to it. and But he still kept it about the education 100. Um, he made sure that nobody failed his class. He made sure that every student you know what I'm saying, could catch up. So whether you was doing this for like two years or two hours or even two minutes, uh, you'll be up to speed. And he he guaranteed success and he brought it in. And that was one of the uh, best things about the first day. Man, it sounds like you had a lot of love for your instructor and your instructor really had an impact on his students. He did. I, I mean, I mean that's great. I, I feel that, I feel that. So, so he basically you know, to help you get to where you are, you know, going to the fourth term. I mean, he, he gave you that big, the, the jump start right there. He was, he was the foundation. Like, if I was a seed, he was, weird enough, like the, the gardener, just letting me grow, you know what I'm saying? And I could always go back to him if I ever needed anything, like if I needed help with how to work Pro Tools or how this mic works or, you know what I'm saying, how to, how to get these, Get these crazy sounds out of these uh, consoles. Vinny was one of the guys that I would go to first. He was like one of the first dudes that I ever played uh, one of my mixes for. Wow. So would you say that he helped change your view on music, basically? He did. He really did. Uh, this school and Vinny, they really helped. They really helped change uh, what I was expecting coming in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of people get confused thinking that just because they're hella talented or because they've been doing this for odd number of years that that gives them automatic status over somebody else. That's not really true. Um, Vinny taught me that uh, everybody's going to be hitting the ground running. And, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter if you've done this for 20 years, it's either sink or swim out there. And it is what it is. You're right about that, it is what it is. It is what it is, man, and, and, and I see how SAE has changed your view on music, man. And, and when you look at music and, and listen to music, when you listen to music, how do you listen to music differently now? I mean, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. When I was, uh, growing up listening to music, I wasn't listening to like the lyrics or whatnot. I wasn't really listening uh, for ideas or that much of the content. I was more into just the sound and the aesthetic and the mood. But when I came to SAE, it taught me how to listen to stuff in such a different way, like listen to the clarity, listen to the arrangement, listen for... Um, how short but impactful a song can be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one thing that Vinny also told me was that the average music listener, they'll only listen to a song, a new song for like 15 seconds. If it's not hot within 15 seconds, it's garbage, it's gone. And that was something that I learned, you know what I'm saying, picking up here in SAE. 
So that means your whole approach to producing and, and all of that is totally different now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it really is. Like, um, when I was, you know what I'm saying, making beats, start off at Fruity Loops, um, I was mostly just doing the run of the mill. Atlanta, want to be the next Metro booming, next Sunny Digital uh, type thing. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Just really simplistic melodies, hard sub basses and drum kits and whatnot. You know, the typical thing, you know, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Basic, 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 basic. So now you're not basic, though. No no more basic. basic. You can't be basic. You hear that right here at uh, SAE. There's no basic at SAE. If you are basic, you will be stepped on, crushed. Ain't demolished. No, ain't no time for basic right here. We we don't do basic. We don't do basic. We don't do average. We go above average. Everybody who's in this school is above average. Above average. It's just up to you, you to uh, tap that potential. You know. Okay. What I'm so t- so break this down. Break this down. Break this down. Real like in layman terms, as we used to say. <laughs> Oh, and we used to have uh, Lamar up here my first term, man. You know, we said lemon, lemon terms. Break it down lemon terms. Uh, exactly how have you broken down your approach to your producing now since you know it? You know, from Vinny, that 15 seconds, that's all you got. So bam, 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 and either um, I'm listening or are you out? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um... Vinny got me into the idea of, look, man, you can have, like, really vast landscapes and soundscapes and have effects and stuff going on in the background, but that's going to be taking up too much of the time, so you got to get to it now. You got to get, you got to hit them with it immediately. Like, when they first hear that one note, they need to instantaneously be hooked on it. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, you got to have that, 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 that real... You gotta have that real. You gotta have that that one hundred. That one hundred. You that gotta be straight, uh, uncut. Yeah, you gotta have that raw. You know <laughs> the raw, the raw. You know what I'm saying? Be like Escobar. Be like a narco. Get that raw. For real, you gotta have that raw. Hey, uh, for real. Uh, so now, now that what, what, where do you see yourself going? Where do you see yourself going? Where do you see yourself going? You know, you're going in the fourth term. You're, you know, um, fourth term is there. Are you doing the fifth term here? Yes, I am. I'm okay, so, to get a degree. So, where are you? You're graduated. Fifth term's over with. Where are you as a graduate from SAE? What are you doing? If you give me a couple sentences, a couple minutes. What are you doing after you graduate from SAE? Now that you are where you are, where do you see yourself going a few months from now, actually? I'm about to be interning in all these studios trying to do what I can. But, what's that? hard work pays off it's just straight to the top with me ain't no time for no distractions it's just to the top with to the top you heard that to the top that's where jihad is going right here on sae radio what is your purpose while you're here this is kind of like a part one part two we're gonna delve into music and and how you break down some of these artists who out today say they making music but really are they making music or are they just making noise all right all right next time with jihad right here on sae radio what is your purpose while you here this is your boy the one guy we out